How's everybody doing? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to restring a Floyd Rose bridge the easiest way that I know. I'm going to be restringing my Schecter today, and the first thing you're going to want to do is take a small Allen key, which I think this one's a two and a half millimeter, and you're going to want to unlock the nut where these little blocks keep the strings down. And you can either leave them loose and try to slide the string under them, or you can just take them all the way off. I prefer to just take them all the way off. Now what I think throws a lot of people when you're restringing a Floyd is the fact that because the bridge is completely floating, when you start to detune even one string, the whole bridge will tip back and all the other string tensions get messed up. So you could either do it one at a time and just live with the fact that the bridge is tipping horribly, but I don't like to do that. I think that's probably bad for the rest of the strings. So what I like to do is block the bridge so that no matter how many strings are on it, no matter how tight or loose they are, the bridge is going to be in the same spot throughout the entire string change. You can block the bridge right from the top using either a small piece of wood, or in this case I'm going to use just a 9 volt battery because I always have those around for pedals. And I leave the bar on when I do this, tip the bridge forward, put the battery in the cutout space, and let the bridge back. And you'll see that the battery is now touching just those metal tabs. It's not touching these pegs that you're going to need to turn, so those can still move. And the bridge will sit in that spot. It's a little bit far forward from normal, but it's not going to move, and it's close enough to normal to where I found that gives me no problems. So now that the retaining hardware is off of the nut and the bridge is blocked, I'm just going to wind the strings down as if I would do on any other string change. They don't have to be all the way off or anything, you just want to have the tension off. So from this point, I'm just going to cut the strings each somewhere in the middle because I don't want to have more than one bent part have to go underneath this string tree up here. So now these are all cut, you can just unwrap them and then you only pull the straight part underneath the string tree so you're not going to scratch the paint or anything on your headstock. So now you can see that the bridge has still not moved because it's being blocked by the battery and the springs on the other side are keeping it tight against the battery. Now what you have to do is loosen up these pegs on the back, which are the pegs that keep the strings tight in the blocks in the bridge, so that you can take out this part of the string. So now these small blocks here have all been loosened and you should be able to pull the string ends out from where they're held. So now the strings are completely off and the bridge is still roughly where it needs to be to take the new strings. Also what I like to do when I have all the strings off is use it as an opportunity to wind back all these fine tuning knobs. In this case they're already back but typically when you play you'll make small adjustments by tightening these knobs are loosening them for each string to the tuning um, and while you have fresh strings on you're going to want them to be roughly all the way loose so that you can tighten down as the strings stretch in and you don't have to unlock the nut quite as often to retune it. So these pegs are all loose, the blocks are all loose and all of these are run all the way up to start fresh. Alright so now that we have all the old strings off we have the bridge blocks all loose, we have all the fine tuning knobs all loose, it's time to prep the new strings to go into the Floyd. Alright, so when you're talking about putting strings into a Floyd Rose, you have obviously out of the package one end of the string that's completely clean and that's going to go through the tuner like usual. 
and then you have the other end that has the ball. But because you need to plant the strings through the top and into the block and then screw the block down on the Floyd, there's no room for this ball. So to prep a string to go into a Floyd Rose, I usually just look at on the new string where the windings end for the ball and I go just up to the edge of it so that I still have the most string to work with and cut the ball off. So now you have a string that has two ends that are clean. So now you're going to take the string end that used to have the ball, although some people would say it doesn't really matter, but I like to just keep track of it, and you're going to want to put that into the track where the block is for that string. And once you feel the string touch the back of the bridge, you're going to want to screw down the peg to tighten the block. So what that looks like is, you can see the string has gone down that track and it goes right between the edge of it and the block. And I've tightened the block down using this peg on the back. Now once you have the string tight in the block, you're free to now put it through the tuner. So keeping in mind that you have to go through both of the slots on the bridge on either side of where the hardware would go. And then on this guitar and a lot of Floyd guitars, you're going to have quite a strong retaining tree for the strings. And you have to be aware of which side of the screws the strings go on. So in this case, you have four through the middle and then one on the outside of each screw. So this being the first string goes on the outside, stick it through the tuner, I give it about an inch of play, pull it back and then wind it up as you normally would do. And when you wind it up, you don't want the string to sound like it's quite in tune yet, because when you unblock the bridge, the bridge will tip back probably, and then all the strings will tighten. So you don't want them to be over tight. So just get it to where you can tell that it's tight, but it's not tuned yet. And then once you have it where you want it, you know that it's tight, cut the excess. And then you're just going to repeat that process for every other string. So take the new string, cut the ball off, put the ball end, underneath the block, tighten the block down, run it through the nut and through the tuner, and then tighten it up. So once you have all the strings on, now you're ready to tip the bridge forward, take your block out, let it go back, see where it lands. So now that I took the block out, you can see that all the strings are tighter because the bridge rocked back. And that's why I don't tune them up right away. And what I like to do is put these locks back on the nut and then just spin these down by hand so that you know you can still change the tuning and you're ready to tune it. So there you have it, your Floyd is now restrung and completely ready to tune. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it and subscribe to my channel for more guitar and music related content. Thank you.